This is my micro accelerator by motor that I finished back in February, which I want to use it for a different purpose this time. I want to make a micro turbo generator out of it to generate electricity on a small scale of course. What I'm going to do is to attach the output shaft of the gearbox to the shaft of a stepper motor. This is the stepper motor that I'm going to be using for this video, which came from an old printer. But first, for those who are interested for a closer look of the inter internal parts, I will disassemble the whole build to make more clear how it was made. And this is how the axial air turbine motor looks uh, when it's assembled. I will explain each part separately so you can understand how this uh, build works. I will begin with the gearbox. This is a gearbox with a 22 to 1 gear ratio that came from an electric motor and I chose this one because it has very little friction between the teeth of its gears. I mean you can see how freely it spins and uh, this means that uh, it can transmit power from the turbine to the output shaft with not much effort. Very good part. This is the inlet and exhaust and of course the main body of the of the build. This is the brass cone. It's where the air enters and uh, directs directs it to the turbine fi turbine's fin and spin it. This is the two exhausts where air exits and everything is press fitted and sometimes glued with epoxy glue. The inlet shroud and this is the turbine. It has uh, some profile as you can see on its blades. It's a 13.5 millimeter in total diameter. This is the shaft. This is 2 millimeter and I had to grind it down to 1 millimeter in order to fit this little tiny gear and believe it or not this was the most challenging thing to do. This is the front bearing and the back. It's, this bearing is exactly the same as this one except this one is fitted in a bigger one. And I did this in order to be central in this part here. What I'm going to do is to measure the maximum RPM of the generator which is powered by the air turbine uh, using this digital tachometer. The connection that I used here to connect the two shafts is a silicon rubber uh, tube which is used in RC uh, vehicles for uh, the, ni the nitro fuel and I found it holds pretty good. Ok, as, as you can see the maximum RPM was 4000 RPM which means it was 88,000 RPM on the spinning turbine. Ok, so what I've done here is to attach the output leads of the stepper motor to a multimeter. The 
current that we are going to be getting is uh, AC that's why the scale here is on AC and uh, this test is on uh, no load so let's see how it performs for this test I'm going to be using my air compressor which is set at 30 psi to see the maximum output of the generator Okay, as we can see, the maximum value was 10 volts, so I guess we are going to be testing now this uh, configuration on some LEDs. The pressure on the air compressor is set to 15 psi this time, half than before, because it's too much for the LEDs and they may be burned. So Let's see what it can do. It uses so little pressure as a generator that it can run for quite a long time as you can see. I am pretty sure that many of you are wondering for what this thing would be useful. Earlier on this video I showed you that back in February I used this turbine with steam but due to the low running time I think it was a total failure. What I thought next was to make a prototype wind turbine because it spins so easy when air is blown to it that it would be great for this application. Using some kind of enlarged inlet cone like let's say this cut section of coke bottles to increase the volume of the incoming air I think it, it could be very possible to make it work even though on this scale the best that it would do is to char charge a cell phone it's still an idea that I'm very willing to try I would like to thank you for watching my video and see you next time also don't forget to like this video, make a comment and subscribe to my channel bye